Well, collecting coins is becoming more and more popular. Mike Fulgen joins us from Universal Coin and Bullion. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, great to be here at Christmas. I got my Christmas tie on. Oh, We're going to talk about Christmas gifts. Okay, well, I have a green. I should have worn green and red. I think that would have worked a little bit better. Well, you look better with the necklace and everything, oh, not with the tie. You're sweet. Well, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about this because we have some fun things to show. What are some great gift ideas with money this Christmas? Well, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, mm -hmm. they are in Fort Worth in Washington, D.C., they can ship you in these nice yellow tubes, uh -huh. festive. They can ship you uncut sheets of currency. Wow. They come in fours, sixteens. This is sixty-four. They charge, this is thirty-two, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. They charge you more, though, to cut it yourself. That's what's so great, yeah. So this is actually real thirty-two dollars. You cut it yourself, but it costs fifty-five. Fifty-five dollars plus yeah. shipping. But I have a lot of fun. Nothing says open you first yeah. like wrapping your package in one two or five dollar bills Yes. and it's also fun to go into a restaurant when I was dating my wife mm -hmm. I'd cut off three for a tip or something or go to the movie theater and cut off eight and watch <laughs> the face is it real what do I do I said just <laughs> cut it with your own scissors yeah. but like right now so on awesome. the air I'm cutting money and I'd like you to find some needy person and here's two dollars uh -huh. that I'm cutting not very well but, but it still cut, works. Cut currency. It's real money. Here you go, Nicole. Wow. Thank but you. But you can do this at home, too. Bureau of Engraving and Printing, dollars. Washington, D.C. or Fort Worth. They have tours. It's a lot of fun. And they have a lot of products that are neat. Mugs with money on it. Uh -huh. Shredded currency, pins, hats. And their motto is, we make money the old-fashioned way. We print it. Yes. And then we charge you to cut it yourself. And we charge you to cut it yourself. <laughs> and, of course, you know, it seemed like that would be, like, what, a perfect gift for a grandchild. Oh, it's, you know. it's a lot of fun, and, you know, like I said, when I was a nerdy coin collector, I brought them out on dates just to mess around with people and have fun with my date. Absolutely. Okay, where can we get uncut sheets of currency? You just told us about that, and, of course, the, um, I think we have a, one on your screen that says moneyfactory.gov is where you actually go Correct. to get that, to show that money. And you got tours. If you're in Fort Worth or mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., you can go on a tour of where they print the money. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to actually order that. This sounds like that's something that's going to be fun and kind of something that you can talk around the table Go to about. the website. It really is interesting. Okay. Does the U.S. Mint sell coins and coin gifts to the public? Uh, yes, it does. And they have tours. Uh -huh. You can go to Denver, Philadelphia for tours there. And we have their website up, usmint.gov. You can go to Denver, Philadelphia, and they have virtual tours online. Interesting tours. You can also order neat holiday gifts from the U.S. Mint. Mm -hmm. Coins, medals, birth year sets. If you have a new baby, coins made that year, special coins. Great place to go for the website for the U.S. Mint. All right. And last question, what is popular with your company at Christmas time? Well, right now we're offering a Money of the Bible book by mm -hmm. a friend of mine, Ken Brissett. Wow. And a widow's mite coin. It was, at the time of Jesus, the least valuable coin there was. Really? And the story of the widow's mite, Jesus said, watching the widow put money in the mm -hmm. treasure, looking up, he saw the rich were putting their gifts in the treasury, and he saw a certain poor widow putting in two mites. And he said, truly I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all. Mm -hmm. It's the lesson of proportionality. It sure so is. we all give, but give in proportion. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot in need. I was glad to participate in Toy Feast here that was yes. good with Channel 6 and KLVI Radio with the Salvation Army. Uh, at this time, help those in need. And for a wonderful gift and a reminder of that, we have Money of the Bible and Widow's Mites on our website. And you can shop right on the website and get it shipped to you. Wow, that's awesome. And, of course, you know, yeah, just a little history lesson as well. Another great gift maybe for the grandkids. It is. Wow. At UniversalCoin.com, we have a lot of information on this. All right. Well, my $2, I'm going to find somebody to give it to. Well, I'll be cutting up a lot more in the studio. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Well, stay with us. There's much more to come. You're watching Southeast Texas Live.